hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is jessica trunovek and to my returning subscribers welcome back guys so i'm gonna say my name is Lubak. ahoy volume star jessica trunovek ako samashte dobre so guys in today's video i will be sharing with you guys how i got pregnant with pcs yes guys i have pcs and i've been str struggling with this for some years now and um, i got to a point where i was like okay it's time for us to have a baby and here we are so before we get started please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done that and turn up the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get a notification whenever i upload a new video and also like and share and comment all right so let's get started <music> Um, story time. Um, I was diagnosed of PCOS. I think that was 2014 through 2013. Yes, so it went and came back again because um, signs of you knowing that you have there are different kind of PCOS. I think there are three, four different kind of PCOS. I am not too sure, guys. I am not a doctor. It's what I experience in my body. I'm going to be telling you guys. My own kind of PCOS is that I have it, but I still see my period and I see ovulate. But I could not get pregnant. I was asking the doctor why is it like this. He told me that my kind, my own kind of PCOS is different. <laughs> yeah, guys. So this is what I did for me to get pregnant yes so first of all i try to change my diet i sometimes i add weight sometimes i lose weight it's not always a certain thing that you be on the same weight every time yeah i tried to change my diet which it worked for a while it did not work again <laughs> then i had to go to the hospital again and um, the doctor told me okay your ovaries are okay your fallopian tubes are okay but we can see you have signs of pcos i was like i've treated that before he was like okay you treated that but it's still there i was like okay no problem so what <coughs> what can we do he was like okay i'm gonna prescribe some drugs for you to take so he gave me um i'm gonna put the name of this tablet or the casing of the tablet somewhere here he gave me that tablet, I took it, nothing happened the first month, nothing happened the second month, nothing happened. I went back again and he gave me another tablet. But this one it was a shot, like um how they call the name of the shot of the medicine. This um I'm gonna look for the name and write it down here, guys. Yes, so he gave me the injection, like it's he told me that it would uh, boost my ovulation and um i said okay no problem i did that and nothing really happened so i was like okay okay in 2020 when my husband traveled i think i just put a bit i did a video and i said i was the blessed blah 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 i'm gonna put it somewhere here so you guys can watch it out and then during the lockdown i was also trying to conceive like my, trying to keep my body ready for when hobby come we can you know and baby will enter so i said take him pregnant care not this pregnant care the one they wrote for conception yes i said taking that and i also started taking um what they call this medicine again no sorry baby bread uh what do they call this medicine again Ooh. folic acid yes i said taking folic acid i'll put i'll look for the picture and i'll put it somewhere the kind of folic acid i said taking so i took those two together and boom i stare my ovulation was like i was showing line the line i had this book where i tracked my ovulation so i was seeing like this book i have my i had my ovulation i was seeing lines of okay when i know i now knew when i was ovulating the day i was ov ovulating and everything so 
fast forward that was what happened in 2020 then fast forward in 2021 my, my husband came back to us in 20 we tried nothing i also went back again to the hospital so, okay me and my husband were like, we trying and nothing and the doctor said okay your husband should get his sperm and we test it and this and that i'm going to tell you guys to do another video on how you can be able to you know boost your husband's sperm count yes you need to boost it so they gave him a tablet which he took and um we tried the first month <coughs> So, I remember in 2020, I was taking um, pregnant care, the cup section, <laughs> and um, my this thing, what they call it, my um, folic acid, and I also was taking mac, mac root. Yes, I was taking that in tea to drink, and. My husband took that his medicine for just a month and and the next month I was pregnant like I was so happy I was so joy like I was so 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 happy I'm gonna put the video of my pregnancy my life pregnancy review somewhere here or here so you guys go check it out and that was it guys so what I'm trying to say is that even if you have PCOS you can still get pregnant there is nothing too hard for God to do and also back it up with prayers too it's not about only taking tablets you also need to pray yes and tell God okay God you say God help those who help themselves God I am helping myself please back me up you understand so I also prayed I fasted and you know now I am a joyful mother <laughs> yes guys so that was how I got pregnant with P series yes guys so I hope you this was a bit um, informative for you if you're out there trying to get pregnant with P series this is what I did that helped me out and I hope this also will help you out too all right so at the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it please do me a huge favor and subscribe if you've not subscribed yet and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get a notification whenever I upload a new video and also like and share and comment so I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys